you pop out a vagi- vagina and the first thing that starts happening is do this, do this, do this. And you just get told things. And then uh, like human nature is to just blindly believe like, cause you're being programmed. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah, fuck with me. Yo, what is going on you guys? We are in for a treat today. We are doing the nugget challenge. Uh, it's supposed to be like 100, but I got to keep it 100 with you. I mess around and talk smack by the person I was called out by. That is RDR Food Reviews. If you've never seen his channel, please go check it out. He is hilarious. That man, he challenged me or tagged me to do this. Now, I guess the rule is that you only really have to eat 20. Uh, the 100 is, however, a thing you can go for. I messed around and talked some smack. I told him I was coming for him. You can go check his video out. You can see my comment under there. I retract statement, shout out to you, you got me beat, like that man, he dominated the 100, no problem, light work, and uh, very impressive. I have to say, I just knew my limits, I'm doing 60, I think I can do 60, but 100 to me was definitely too much, and uh, also monetarily in Canada, nuggets, expensive AF, this whole thing cost me $50 for 60, and then of course we got the row of sauces, I got them lined up in the reggae style colors here. We got the barbecue, the sweet and sour, the hot mustard. And then I have just a little bit of honey here for myself as well that I wanna just dip around, you know, just crossbreed all these flavors. So um, I wanna get into this. Also, I need to shout out five people to tag in to do this. And uh, those people are gonna be as follows. Firstly, ASMR addiction. I just found this dude. He's a fellow Canadian. He's on the west coast uh, of Canada. He is a smaller channel, but I really love his channel. Also, he's doing me a huge solid on hooking me up with some gear. So, uh, big shout out to ASMR addiction. Please go check his channel out. It'll be in the descri- description below. And I know he could be some of this food, uh, at least 60 probably, because I know he could eat. I, I've seen his videos and he could eat a lot. Uh, number two, Ben Dean, classic. We all know Ben Dean. Uh, if you want to go spam his wall and tell him I sent you and hit him up with this challenge, I think he'd be down for it. Number three is going to be Sauce Queen. She's blowing up right now. Her videos are getting hella traction. She just got like, I think she got like 13, 15,000 subscribers in like two days. She was chilling at like 10K. Now she's up at like 25, 26 wild shit going on there i think her seafood mukbang just went crazy so uh she's hilarious great entertainment um also we are gonna tag a new i know she probably won't do it but if you want to go hit her wall up she doesn't really like eating sounds and stuff but she'll do it for her viewers her name is asmr x baby b-a-b-e-e uh she mostly does just like whispering videos of whatever like just personal attention and like motivational stuff or whatever like she just does very like makeup and things like that but she will eat i think so if she wants to do 20 shout out her she could do 20 and then uh the final is i know she's already done this in the past but fuck it why not i want to call her out again megan mccullum do it you're on this so originally this is a challenge set out by asmr austin or sorry, originally this is a challenge set out from Awesome Austin, and then in conjunction with SAS ASMR, SAS being the OG hot Asian girl, like just like the lower half, just, you know, the eating sounds from the hot Asian girl. She's classic, obviously has like millions of subs, and uh, she's gonna have a playlist of all of these videos on her channel, so you can see all the people that have challenged, been challenged and, and tried to execute on it. Um, but anyways, I'm also coupling this scenario with the q and a i've been trying to get to this q and a forever uh q and a when the least amount of food in your mouth the better so i figured this is kind of like chips but chicken you know it's like my last q and a was chips this is like little chicken chips so we're going to get to the q and a and eat these nuggets it should be nice and time consuming maybe relaxing a bit maybe funny and uh interesting with all these questions so Let's get to these nugs. All right, tight. Yes, sick. I'm so hyped for this. So as you guys can see in Canada, it is Monopoly season, the most joyous season of all the seasons uh, regarding fast food. So you know I got to get to these pieces and see what I could win. You know what I mean? 
So, come on, Papa needs a brand new bag. Off hop? Whoa! What? No, that's lit. No. What? I never, I didn't even know what, I don't even know what this is, but sick. $25 gift card for Canvas Pop. If anybody knows what Canvas Pop is, let me know. I'm going to have to Google that. Columbia Icefield. Nah, not really feeling that. Don't really care about you, purple thing. If it's like a game piece, I don't really give a shit. I'm just looking for those freebies. All right. Well, let's go. 20 in, 20 down. What do you say? Rain and Nugs. All right, let's go again. Four more game pieces. Yo, when you get the 20, they really hook you up with the game pieces or potential to win. That's what's crazy is I usually win, uh, like, they, like, the prizes that McDonald's give is usually, like, a coffee or a blueberry muffin. And you're like, am I 80? And so it's like, why do they give away the quintessential old treats? It's not really for me, but... Yo, free sandwich, get a Big Mac with that. So I'm up a Big Mac and a $25 gift card. So for the 50 that I spent, I'm looking at like 31 on returns right now. This is, this is nice. I cannot lie, okay? It's been worth it. So 20, another 20. Call it 2020 vision. Oh shit, they're stacking up. Okay, I got four more game pieces. Let's go. No. What does that say? Toronto Airport? What? No. No. I we got two wins. I thought we could get one a box. But it's still very happy, very impressed. All right, ladies and gents. As you can see, we are 60 deep right now. 60 deep. 60 deep. I've never this is too much this is too crazy but it's glorious I just I actually love chicken nuggets so much so I've got the Q&A questions up here I'm gonna scroll through and start eating so first question what would you want to be buried with so that you can use in the afterlife very interesting question also my first tactic is gonna be honey Honey, and I want to actually hit it in this like hot mustard to make like a little hot honey hot blend. Very hard question, but at the same time, easy for me because one of my most favorite things on this planet to do is dirt bike and dirt bikes to me would never get old and not be fun and I just think if I went over there into this afterlife granted like a dirt bike works over there I can like get away on it get around on it if there's some wild shit popping off then I can evade like these people trying to kill me and whatever or these weird spirits and stuff like let me just rip off on the dirt bike, take some jumps. Like, I, I just think it could be really fun. What's my biggest fear? My biggest fear is living a full life, getting to the end of my life and being A victim of my indecision I have a lot of trouble making decisions on especially one thing because I feel like life is supposed to be very varietous and I hate that standard society kind of traditionally boxes you into like one or two focuses and you just spend your whole life doing that I don't want to live that life I want to live a very varietous life I want to do a bunch of different things I want my days to change up from time to time like I want to create new things, do different things all the time. So to get to the end of my life and be unsatisfied in having lived a very like unfulfilled by the book, indecisive standard 
life where like I kind of meandered through and just really didn't do anything. So I have taken it upon myself as of recently and I know what my future plans are to like make sure that doesn't happen. So I'm working towards that never happening to me. It's a slow process, but I'm young and I just need to be patient. Gary V taught me this and I just need to keep grinding, keep pushing. I have so many plans. It's crazy. It's almost overwhelming, but they're all going to get executed on it's just a matter of time. Do you watch Trailer Park Boys? Not anymore, but obviously when they first came out and like for a long time when I was younger, for sure, absolutely. Hilarious. I love that show. Everybody in the comments says I look like Ricky to some degree. I could probably agree. Also, he's also my favorite character. Kills me. Rickyisms are hilarious, and I'd say a close second is like J Rock. J Rock just when J Rock's on point, so funny. These are so good. Hmm. Good. Next question. Will you ever let me know what your buffalo wing sauce is? Perfect that you asked that. So my um my one buffalo sauce eating or buffalo wing eating video just hit a million views like a week ago, which I want to do like an honorary million view video. It's my first million view video. So I wanted to do an episode where I show you guys step by step the making and the breaking down of those wings, which is coming. Uh, it's just in conjunction with an announcement for something else as well. And I just need to get myself prepped and set up for that. So just be patient. But yes, I will be showing you guys exactly how to make the wings that I make. What got you into doing ASMR mukbangs? ASMR slash mukbangs. Uh, well, ASMR was my crippling anxiety that I went through for a lot of years, starting in like 2009. And I just needed something like that to help me out. And I found ASMR in its most OG state a long, long time ago. I wish I'd got into it earlier, but I didn't. Like myself creating. Um, mukbangs, I just think like, I remember finding uh, of these videos like that weren't anything. It was just like this, like a, back in the day, like this random kid being like me eating Whopper. And there was such something about it that I found so like captivating. And then as things grew, like, I was just always into the idea of just, like, watching people eat food. I don't know why. It's strange, I know, but I also love it. So this is a really deep question. I know you live in Canada. I would really like to work there. Do you have any advice on how to get a job in Canada as an immigrant? I personally don't really. The only thing I know about being an immigrant and getting a job is that, like, it all depends. Like, if you have your, like, card or whatever, like, your papers, or you have your, you're on a visa, then you can legally work. It's not that difficult. Like, as long as you're legal, people will hire you. If you're on some shady stuff or whatever, or a lot of times people who come to work here, you end up in a restaurant. You end up cooking or serving or something like that. Restaurant industry is usually the most like easy to get into and accepting of foreign people. 
and uh, they tend to like be able to pay under the table a little bit and stuff. So I'd say, yeah, you're probably going to end up maybe in a restaurant, but all depends on your situation, really. Who taught you how to cook? Nobody. I'm pretty much just self-taught. Like I just watched a lot of Food Network growing up and I uh, just took it upon myself to experiment, try things. Because I have an interest in it. So it's just like fun to me. And I just learned along the way how to like, you know, techniques and proper temperatures and ingredients, things like that, how flavors work together. What other scary stories can you remember from your childhood or current? I don't have many. I think I still have like one or two more in the tank. And they'll, they'll be showcased in the future videos eventually. Um, but yeah, I'd probably have like a couple more. What is your favorite bar or club to go to in Toronto? Excuse me. Which one do you recommend to anyone new in the city? That's such a tough question. When people ask me about that stuff, it's like, I need to know who you are. Like, I don't know if like you're a hole in the wall pub person. Are you a hipster? Do you like clubs? Like, you know, what's your flavor? Because there's so much variety here. Uh, I myself personally don't do like clubs and like the mainstream downtown stuff. I'm probably more hole in the wall hipster style bar. But I really like to frequent bars on Ossington. So Ossington is like a strip street. Tons of good, small, low key, hole in the wall, divey type bars. But um, yeah, so it's called like Baby Huey, Churchill, this place called Get Well. Just a lot of like more like relaxed vibe. Good tunes. Nice mixed bag of chill people. That's more my vibe. So just go to the West End, Dundas and Ossington. Hang out in that area. How was my first time being high? Uh, the first time I didn't really get that stone to be honest. But the first time I got like really actually high, like truly baked, was awesome. So fun. Never freaked out, nothing like that. Just was like super stoned. It's hilarious. A lot of laughter. You know, when when you first start smoking weed, it's quite intense. Eventually, you get used to it, and it just becomes pretty standard to you. But, like, in the beginning, yeah, getting high is, like, yeah, you, like, definitely go. Do you like older women? Well, the person who asked this, if you're watching right now, According to your profile picture, if they look anything like you, yes, I like older women. <laughs> but yeah, nothing wrong with a little uh, experience and age. Depends how, how old, but yeah, no, if, if, if you got it, you got it. <clears throat> Are you interested in any video games? Um, I don't really play video games too much, but... I'll rip a Call of Duty or like a um, uh, motocross game. 
but that's about it. I don't really get too heavy into anything else. I just don't really have the time to like devote to gaming. It feels like I could be doing other things that are just like more productive for my life. But nothing against gaming. Would you ever move from Canada to LA? Shout out to the person that asked this question. You know who you are. Um, yeah, absolutely. I think it would be hilarious. It'd be awesome. It'd be fun. It'd be different. It'd be really good for my personal growth and things that I can like achieve. And uh, if you're there, that's even better. How was my school career? Uh, very standard, nothing crazy. High school was like pretty whatever. I was kind of like in the medium crowd. You know, it didn't really stand out, but didn't really, wasn't on the bad side of things. Went to college for like a year, hated it. Floated for a while. And then I moved and I went to sound engineering school. So basically college again for a compressed course for one year. Got that. And then from there, I just been doing different stuff. But I think ultimately school's not for me. And uh, I'm going to make it with obviously without it. And I'm doing pretty much fine now anyways. But you know, there's a lot to go. I can be doing way better, but I just, for me personally, I don't think college is going to matter. I think I see, I just know that there's other ways to get ahead and to make it and to be, you know, all good. I'm actually very grateful. I'm not like, I know a lot of people in a lot of debt. I couldn't even imagine how stressful that is. Having to pay off like 50, 60, 70, 80, like, even 30, like, that's so much money. Just to have hanging over your head. It's got to be terrifying. All right, we're reaching, like, the halfway mark, I'm feeling, roughly, maybe. And uh, I'm still doing okay. Uh, I don't know if I can get 60, though, to tell you the truth. But I'm doing pretty good. I, like, I feel pretty much all good. What is my favorite whiskey? So I don't really drink for flavor... I drink for effect, and I know that's going to sound bad, but it's the truth. But as far as, you know, a standard whiskey goes, probably just like a Jameson. Jameson's just like a decently good normal whiskey. What do you believe happens when we die? Wow, shit gets deep. To be honest, I think about this all the time. I've thought about this my whole life, and I always think about it still. And from, like, week to week, my opinion on it varies. And it's ultimately a mystery, but... Like, on one hand, I want to believe in, like, soul and, like, quantum realms and you know other dimensions and kind of returning back to your source because like a lot of like I do kind of believe in a sense like you're either sent here or choose to come here and then you like but you like forget that's what being in the body is is like and the ego and everything like it's all designed to make you like forget your truth and then like navigate through this like game essentially um like learning lessons predicated upon like your instinct and intuitive things things that feel good and natural and normal and interesting to you and like you know learn your lessons along the way and then when you pass you know you've either leveled up or you've stayed the same or whatever because i just feel like this everything's all a giant game really but then again sometimes i don't know sometimes i just I trip out and I think like, well, 
the shit exists like how long has existence even been like millions of years or whatever like just how long anything's ever been and then i didn't know about it then and i was fine with it so if my brain is like if i'm just a biological computer and the reason that i'm aware is just because i have a biological computer switched on essentially then when I shut off that's it I just it's like it's like nights you sleep and don't remember like you don't dream you just wake up and you're like wow like I could have just died and not had a clue of anything because you're just oblivious you're not aware you're not conscious you're not there so to not exist it's hard to wrap your mind around it's like infinity you're like well I can't imagine not existing but when you won't when you aren't existing you don't know that anything so you don't know that you don't exist so it like doesn't matter and that's the huge mind fuck of life too it's like what does anything even mean and matter it's like why am i even trying and striving and trying to like achieve things why do dreams and goals and things matter when it's like it's all futile in the end anyways like does it actually mean or matter to anything like who really knows and then some days I honestly don't even know if I'm being like what the truth is of anything. Like, does outer space actually exist? Like, is the earth flat? Like, I'm, you know, I, I'm not trying to sound like wild or crazy or anything here, but like, if you really think about it on some matrix shit, you just, you pop out of this vagina and then you're just from the time you're born, you're a brand new, let's think of yourself as like a microchip or like a new computer. And like, you want to put like this program on it and this program on it and you like, you could tailor it to how you want it you pop out of a vagi vagina and the first thing that starts happening is do this do this do this and you just get told things and then uh, like our human nature is to just blindly believe like because you're being programmed so it just sometimes i feel like this is like some weird matrix shit like i'm just i don't even know like i'm being completely like i've been completely um miss informed and misguided and set up like just i've been set up by something and he's just like this is what i how your life should go and this is like the way uh, and just like follow this rule and believe this and this is this and i just think you have to second guess everything because i just i don't know anything all i know is that i'm here sitting here trying to eat 60 chicken nuggets and that's weird but like that's all i know like i don't i've never been to outer space i've never I don't know. Like, it could be the Truman Show. I really think I'm in the Truman Show sometimes. I'm just like, this shit is all just so... It's too weird. So, I don't know what happens when we die. In short. Would you rather have the ability to go invisible or read minds? I 100% would go invisible. You could do anything and everything you want going invisible. Steal money, get in places that you're not supposed to be, go to like Area 51, like you could find out so many answers going invisible. And then even if you want to know people's thoughts about you, just go invisible and chill like around your friends when they're not there and see how much shit they talk. Then you know their minds anyways. Going invisible would be <laughs> so lit. I want, I want to go invisible bad. Do you fuck with Mercules? He's a beast in my opinion. Now, uh, Mercules, Canadian rapper. He's independent on the come up kind of thing. He does a lot of covers, like slays other people's uh, remixes or whatever. That's what I meant to say, not cover, remix. Mm, I like him. I think he is good. He's talented. Personally, his style of rap um, to me is dated. I just, I grew up in that really hip hoppy era. And while I do still respect bars, I just, he just doesn't seem fresh. Like he doesn't sound fresh to me. He's, he's like, nothing's new. I can pretty much expect his flow. Like on most tracks, like I know kind of what I'm going to get. It's the thing about artists, like, I like 
from track to track, I want to hear change ups. Like I, I want it. Like I don't want it to be. Um, I don't want to like be able to already, you know, know what you're about to do. Like I want to be like wow. I want to be like whoa, that was crazy. Or this flow is nuts. Or that melody is insane. Or whatever. Like I just I want I need switch ups. So, but he's talented. I, I will say that. As you guys can tell, I'm slowing down. Do you have IG or Snap? Uh, I do have IG. I do not have Snap. If you want to follow my IG, uh, Hoodie Noir. Feel free to give me a follow on there. How the hell can I get in contact with you? I tried sending messages through YouTube, but I can't. And I feel like email is too formal for what I want to say. Honestly, bro, just hit me on the email. It's not too formal. Just email me. What's your favorite high food? <laughs> Funny question, because you guys always think I'm stoned. But I haven't smoked weed in a long, long time. Probably six years. Maybe longer. But back when I used to smoke weed religiously, my favorite stoner food was the Coney Dogs back in my home city that I've talked about on this channel a bunch. Um, the I don't know. I just I used to have a Sunday ritual where I would kind of clean up my room. I'd smoke out, and then I'd go get the hot dogs, come back to my room, throw on beats and just like or a movie, and just like indulge in these dogs that's so high, just pie eyed out of my face, and just like watch a movie or listen to some beats, and then write. And record and stuff after it was just like my my fun sunday ritual for myself to enjoy how did i meet my girlfriend well she's now my ex-girlfriend so um but we did meet just working together she got a job where I worked, and then uh, I, she dipped the pen in company ink, as she would have put it, but that's neither here nor there anymore. That's over and gone, and it uh, it served its purpose for me. It wasn't meant to be, but it was in the sense of that I needed to go through it to learn a lot, so... Uh, no regrets. What is your favorite food and why? I think I've answered this a bunch of times on here, but you guys know burgers. Burgers, just everything you need all in one package. It's uh, just everything under one roof. That's going to always be my constant statement about burgers. Everything under one roof. It's meat, cheese, vegetables, condiments, bread, everything. It's got it all. It's a 10 out of 10. It's a dime piece. Do you plan on pursuing a career in music or YouTube? Both consecutively and in conjunction with each other. I'll be making a music channel in the future. I'll always be uploading music through YouTube. I'll always do, I'm going to be doing this on YouTube and more stuff on YouTube. Uh, yeah, I want to do both together. One complements the other. Wings or Whoppers? Ooh. Ooh. Come on. That's... Come on. That's a hard question. I love Whoppers, but I love Wings. I don't know. I honestly can't answer that. I want to say... I might go Whoppers. Yeah, I think I'm going to go Whoppers. Because like I said, Burgers my favorite. Top or bottom bunk, get your mind out of the gutter. I've always been a bottom bunk. Even though I could get smushed, you know, if it all goes awry, I don't know, I've just never really liked the top. And it's never because I was worried about rolling out. I just, I don't know. I was never into being on the top of the bunk. I don't know why. I used to sleep in bunk beds for a long time in my life. And because I have a blended family. And uh, I was a bottom bunker, so... 
It's just I'm used to it. Hey, Hoodie, will you please do the Crip Bot? <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Crip Bot is uh, like Crip Dancing Robot mashup. I told about in a Halloween story, something that I got like addicted to and like to do back in the day. Still do it from time to time now. Uh, you may see the Crip Bot in upcoming videos. You're just going to have to remain patient, but the Crip Bot may make an appearance. Ever heard of Gak Force? No, but it sounds like a porno name, like a, like a, like one of those brands, like whatever, like uh, Bang Bus or whatever. Gak Force sounds like a like a deep throat porno name. Would you consider yourself a vet in the ASMR game? Yeah, probably. I mean, definitely a vet in terms of like consuming, listening, and and knowing about this shit for a long, long time. Um, myself personally, yeah, a little bit like medium vet. What is your dream car? Easy Mercedes G wagon, just like matte green, like matte forest green with like black, um, features like accentuations, like rims and like the emblem and stuff like that, the handles and things like that. And then the interior would probably be like um, like this color, chicken nugget interior. It'd be like that, you know, like that hunting, like Carhartt kind of thing. Yeah, that'd be that's hundred percent. I want that vehicle so bad. If if and if, let's just say when I get rich, <laughs> that's that's the cop for sure, hundred percent. What's your ideal way, way to spend the weekend and what's my favorite holiday? Uh, my favorite holiday is Halloween. I just, I don't know, I love dressing up and being an idiot. And ideal way to spend the weekend, well, seeing that I usually work weekends, maybe just having it off to actually go do something like a normal human being on the weekend. But I'm like a weekend worker, so yeah, maybe just having it off. Being able to actually like go join in the parties with friends who don't work those type of jobs that just have normal lives. Okay, we'll finish this off with the last question. What is the worst trouble I've ever gotten into? The worst trouble I've ever gotten into is a story that I've shared on here. And that I would say would be a DUI. Being arrested for drunk driving and spending a night in the holding tank. You know, having to tell your parents and go to court, all that shit. Um, I've also been detained for shoplifting back in the day, like when I was younger. We all do some stupid shit from time to time, especially when we're growing up and learning these lessons. But yeah, I was, I was also detained for shoplifting as well, so... Those are probably two instances of the worst trouble. I'm at the point where this is just no longer enjoyable. It's just the same flavor over and over. My stomach is not doing great. So what do we got? Five. Ten. Fifteen. Oh, come on. I thought I was going to at least hit 40. 20. 2. So at 38. I could totally eat two more, but I honestly don't care. I'll say it right now. Hashtag weak sauce. Weak sauce attempt. <laughs> Shame me in the comments. 38 nugs. I can't believe dude ate 100. That is insane to me. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Until the next one, eat good, live well, stay true, and go spam those walls of the people that I told you. All right? Peace.